everyone. Uh, we are going to see what's inside a U8 uh, cheap Chinese watch. Smart watch actually. We are going to see here a PCB, elastic PCB, which is uh, connected through this board that I have attached it. Also, we are going to see a battery, 3.7 volt, uh, like uh, 165 milliamps, a vibrator, a speaker, uh, two switches, one for reset button and the other is for power up. Also, this is a microphone, uh, which is a round plastic around it and I have detached it also. We have a, a Bluetooth antenna. Uh, in background of this, uh, system we do have a uh, LCD what kind of screen yes kind of screen that is attached to it we can see which uh, the connector to, into the board the pins that are connected to the main board all right uh, this main board is powered up by this battery and all uh, arithmetical logical and function and uh, programmatic perform this MPK chip uh, which is a uh, MT MediaTek uh, MT626 I'm sorry for the bad quality well now we can see it's MT626 which in inside of this chip we can find a Bluetooth all around this chip we find the Bluetooth we find the RMS 7 uh, architecture also we do have uh, a many features that uh, MTK uh, together with this video I will going to include the data sheet for this chip uh, I think you're going to make some gather some information regarding it well here we have an external oscillator which is uh, 26,000 hertz like 26 megahertz well we see we hear what we see some peripherals so we, uh, four pin I mean a six pin uh, component black component which I think it's kind of a, a controller for this uh, controller which is near a battery I think that is a kind of controller for battery also we see another chip here it's a kind of a, a current stabilizer for this uh, MT626 uh, MediaTek chip. Here we have some test pins uh, for screen. You see that here is attached to the screen and uh, all the wires that send that are going through this uh, circuit from here are directly soldered in this uh, jack which means that here are making some tests for in those three pins. One, two, three. Those three pins are making tests for a, uh, for the screen the other uh, probably are for testing the hardware and stuff like this here I see two pins I mean two blank pins it also might be for testing something uh, I think they are RX and TX uh, receive and transit but actually I'm going to try in uh, in another video uh, another thing uh, all right just uh, try to build up this uh, device uh, or to see in the back of this device we see as I mentioned before here we have a screen that is attached in uh, in uh, like uh, 17 pins 18 pins uh, which may f four main pins are connected you see those are blank those are blank I think this four only four four to five pins are connected to it you see the uh, I mean the serial key and uh, uh, the serial components here in uh, USB in uh, here we have a USB micro USB connector that is for charging the device also for bringing up with the computer we see DP DM and VBus. Uh, actually, they are for USB connection. If you want to link directly to USB, here is we see a ground, a uh, uh, 3.7 volt uh, ground that we can attach. Uh, most of it, the most amazing for this thing is this uh, MediaTek uh, RM, RM architecture uh, chip 
which is a uh, wonderful of uh, technology they have achieved to include all those uh, features like uh, sim cards and um, 3g and uh, uh, power supply i mean the uh, uh, power save and s many many feature uh, as i said before i will going to include the data sheet for this uh, chip and you probably are going to review it all right let's uh, try to build up uh, to boot up the MTK or we should make a all oh, right I know we cannot boot up because it is uh, kind of uh, we should attach the display to it but in later video I'm going to do it thank you for watching bye bye